Let's cross back over to Europe now. And in Paris, tens of thousands of protesters have marched to express their frustration at the rising cost of living. This coming three weeks into a refinery strike that's caused fuel sh shortages right across France. The demonstration was called by the left-wing political opposition and led by the head of the France Unbowed or LFI party, Jean-Luc Mélenchon. According to reports, security forces fired tear gas on several occasions after they were pelted with objects. Some protesters wore yellow fluorescent vests. That was the symbol of the often violent anti-government protests back in 2018 that rocked the first term of French President Emmanuel Macron. Mélenchon has also called for a general strike on Tuesday. Some, but not all, trade unions have already declared the date a national day of strikes targeting road transport, trains and also the public sector. Organizers, organizers sorry, claimed almost 140,000 people attended that march in Paris. The strikes and protests are being closely watched by the government, which is aiming to pass a highly controversial change to the pension system over the next few months. Macron, who won re-election back in April, has pledged to push back the retirement age in France from its current level of 62.